Hi everyone and welcome to Drive, your source for automotive reviews, analysis, maintenance, and restorations. Please subscribe to our channel, watch the entire video, and of course click on notifications to be first to learn about new videos. I'm Chris Capperdoni, and in this how-to video I'm going to explain and demonstrate how to remove old vinyl paint and apply new vinyl paint to automotive wheels. Most people know vinyl paint from its original branding, Plasti Dip, a product developed in 1972 to coat, to coat tool handles and toys. Today it's used to coat entire vehicle bodies. I will be removing the old Plasti Dip, repairing the wheels, their scratches and dents on them, and applying a new product called Auto Dip. Auto Dip was designed specifically for automotive applications. It um, offers a gloss black peelable paint, and what the effect is, is a black clear coated uh, finish. So I'm looking forward to trying this product and evaluating it. Let's get going. Hi everyone, so when I purchased this BMW several months ago, I noticed right away that uh, the, the wheels were painted with uh, a vinyl paint, which most people know as Plasti Dip or Auto Dip. And w upon further inspection, I noticed that they had not painted them very well. So I'm in the process, I'm gonna, sh this video is about how to properly paint aluminum wheels uh, with vinyl paint. And I started peeling off the paint and I noticed that it wasn't coming off very easily. And there are two reasons for that. The first reason is applying the vinyl paint to a non-clear coated um, surface that will um, inhibit the ability for it to peel off in one piece or in several large pieces. Or the other reason is that not enough coats have been applied to build up enough of a, a layering that you can pull it off without ripping it. Um, when I paint them, I usually do a minimum, and I, it's a minimum, of six coats. Seven or eight coats is usually best. Another thing I noticed with this one is, as I was peeling it off, you can see large gouges in the wheel, which, as you can see right there, are showing through the plastic. So someone not only didn't do the job properly, they didn't prep the wheel properly. So I'm going to show that as well on after I painstakingly remove all of this old Plasti Dip from the wheel and prep it. And then I'm going to paint it in a new product or a new product for me called Auto Dip. And I've picked the uh, gloss black. So what that does is with Plasti Dip, you have to paint it in uh, a matte black and then uh, apply what they call a glossifier to get that wet black look. With Auto Dip, they have a gloss black which combines the two. So when you apply it, it'll end up looking really glossy black and attractive. And uh, quite honestly speaking, I think all wheels should be painted in that color. You should really ignore all the other colors because black is the coolest. It's the most aesthetically pleasing. Um, I, I don't understand why auto manufacturers still offer aluminum colored silver wheels. It's like in my dad's day when they used to have hubcaps. That's the way I see it. Uh, black is the way to go with anything that you want to look modern or aggressive. So I'm going to take this wheel off and start prepping it. So I've been trying to take the, um, the vinyl, old vinyl paint off of this wheel and the fact that they didn't do it properly, it's been excruciating trying to pick it off bit by bit by bit. So I've been trying um, other methods to try and expedite this. I tried alcohol, isopropyl alcohol and alcohol that didn't work. Then I decided um, I would try WD-40 because not only is it a, a petroleum-based penetrating oil, but there are solvents in there. I don't know what the solvents are because it's a proprietary product. But what I did was I sprayed it on and let it sit. Then um, I didn't think it was working because the surface was all kind of slimy and I wasn't able to, to, to work it off. So I decided to grab a clean paper towel and with a little bit of friction, you can see that it's, it's lifting off of the surface and I'm not really applying a lot 
of pressure here. I just need to make sure that it stays wet because now it's starting to dry out. I'll have to apply it. But I think this is a neat little trick that you can try at home. Um, and so what it is is using the uh, WD-40 and then a little bit of um, friction before it dries out because it's dissolving it slightly and then I'm just removing it. So I'm gonna continue on with this process and see how it turns out and I'll let you know. So I managed to get off all of the Plasti Dip and um, what I'm trying to do is sand many of the gouges and scratches that were there before it was originally painted. And there are a few that I feel that are deep enough that I'm going to need to apply some body filler in order to fill them up so I can make the surface flush, lightly sand them before I can prep to do the, um, the new auto dip vinyl paint. So that's what I'm doing right now to this wheel is prepping it in order to apply body filler in certain areas. Like there's a, a, a gouge here. There's another one here. There's another one here. Like it's riddled. It, it, it's been, a, a, it was an abused wheel. So I need to prep it so that it all looks nice and smooth. Um, and that's the majority of, of doing this job is prepping the wheel before you paint it in order to give it, it the best possible chance of it looking very attractive. I removed all of the uh, vinyl paint and um, noticed and I, and I sanded the entire area to try and get rid of small uh, minor scratches and dents but there were several it was it, there was extensive damage done to this rim especially around the um the outer edge of the rim the um inner part of the wheel there were a lot of nicks so what i did was all this gray is actual uh, body filler and um it's dried now so now i'm going to go through the process i may have to apply uh, body filler again in certain areas but i'm going to go through and lightly sand to see whether i was successful in um blending in and making flush a lot of the um, nicks and cuts and cracks that were in this um, in this in this uh, wheel. I just completed sanding the entire wheel um, after I had applied the uh, the bondo let it and and let it dry. I'm satisfied with the way it looks and feels. All of the big chips and scratches that were in the in the metal underneath the old uh, vinyl paint have been removed. So what I need to do now is I need to um, brush it, vacuum it, then I need to clean it with soap and water and then clean it with um, isopropyl alcohol to prep it to, um, for the new um, auto dip that I'm gonna be, uh, be applying. I wanna make sure that I have a very clean uh, surface in which to start applying the seven or eight coats that I will end up putting on all the wheels. So the next step is to clean this thing up and get it ready. An important step in prepping the wheels to be vinyl painted is to mask off all the areas that you don't want the overspray to touch, specifically the tire. I've done uh, that tire over there, and the product that I find is most useful is painter's tape, getting the, the widest one, which I think this is um, almost two inches wide. And the reason for that is because it's, it, it fits into little areas and flexes and you can pull it back up and reapply it to adjust it if you need to. I used to use just regular clear uh, packing tape, but once you apply it down, 
you don't have the option of pulling it back up to reapply it. And also sometimes with the force of the spray nozzle, it can lift it up at the most inconvenient time. This, this um, tape stays down for the entire job um, and does not allow paint to, to come through in any way. So what I do is I just rip off strips at a time, work them in as close to the, the rim of the wheel as possible, and then just lay it down. And then I'll just do it concentrically around the, the wheel in that fashion until I've covered every, um, area, every small area on, this, on the front part of the tire. And I'll go to the uh, tread because sometimes overspray will hit beyond what you've marked off. So I just find it best just to cover the entire tire, uh, front of the tire, um, to avoid any sort of uh, situations where you may have uh, dragged the, the, um, the can too far off when you're spraying. Okay, the surface has been totally masked off for both tires. Now the next step is to get ready uh, with my face mask and get the first coat of the gloss black auto dip on the wheels. Okay, I'm ready to apply the first coat. Um, the first coat with um, auto dip, you need to be very gentle um, and don't over, overdo it. You can build on it because it's probably going to take, I'd say, about 10 to 12 coats for it to look complete and finished. So here I go with the first coat. That's it. So that's the fourth coat. Still a long way to go, but it's starting to build a base. Here I am at just four coats. I still don't have full coverage, but you can see I'm building a base. After every coat, I've been turning the wheel a quarter turn to try and make sure that I get areas that are not visible, like in the sides and behind. So I'm gonna keep every, every spray, I'm gonna keep turning it a quarter turn and keep applying late sp sprays, I'm probably gonna hit 10, 10 coats before I reach a point where I'm happy with the way it looks. So I'll continue moving forward with it. I just applied the eighth coat and while I've got an established base, I still have many more coats to go, probably at least four more coats to get um, the best possible look. There are some little dimples and air pockets here and there, tiny ones that I'm hoping I can work out with additional layers, but let's hope so. So I just finished the uh, 12th coat on the front and the fifth coat on the back side, so that I could get all the little recesses between the spokes to look even like the front. And I'd have to say that uh, using auto dip, it's not bad. It's not a perfect finish. Um, if I were to rank it to against Plasti Dip, which I would give Plasti Dip um, a nine out of ten, I would give this a seven and a half out of ten, maybe an eight. Um, it's not a perfect finish, but it's acceptable. 
um, especially as you step away from it, it starts looking better. When you get very close, you can see the little dimples and imperfections, but overall it's, it's a decent product. I probably, if I were to do this again, would go with the Plasti Dip Matte Black and then apply the Glossifier to get the same effect. I would feel more confident in getting a nine or a 10 out of 10 finish that way. But having said that, um, it's up to you to decide. I think they're both equal, whether you use Plasti Dip or the Auto Dip to do your wheels. And um, make sure that you do enough coats so that if you do want to remove it, that you've got enough of a thickness that you can pull it off. I just finished applying um, vinyl paint to this license plate holder, but this time I used Plasti Dip. And this is just six coats and the finish is very nice. I like it. It was very easy to apply. And also one side benefit is the, the smell of the propellant is nowhere near what the Auto Dip is. This stuff makes you want to choke. It's quite bad. I'm, I'm fully ventilated here and I was having trouble breathing as I was doing the coats. But besides that, um, the finish on the auto uh, on the plastic dip is far superior to the auto dips. Thanks everyone for watching this tutorial on how to remove old vinyl paint and properly apply new paint to wheels in any condition, good or bad. The process is very simple, but the key to success is properly prepping the wheels and then applying multiple light coats. Please make sure to perform this vehicle modification in a very well ventilated area and wear proper breathing protection to avoid inhaling the paint or its propellant. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and select the notification option. Drive, your source for automotive reviews, analysis, maintenance, and restorations.